So you own a home and you've got a great low interest rate on that home, which makes you not want to buy a new home right now because rates are so much higher than you have on your current mortgage. But what if I told you that you could actually use your current low interest rate to help you buy a new home? So I've been talking to people who are thinking about buying a home this year and basically they don't want to for one main reason. Interest rates. Interest rates. Raise interest rates. Raising interest rates. Raising interest rates. Interest rate. Rates could go higher. All right! Especially if they already have a home, chances are the rate they have on their current mortgage is much lower than you can go get today, which leads people to think that, hey, the best possible solution is for me just to stay put for now and I'll just wait for rates to get better. And that might be the best option for some people. But there is another option that I want to talk about today that can help you actually afford the new payment and accelerate your ability to build wealth long term. So for the last couple of years, interest rates have been historically low. But on the flip side, rent has been historically high. So why not take advantage of both of those things and instead of selling your home, rent it out instead. So according to apartmentlist.com, let me pull this up real quick. Rent is up nearly... 29% where I live in Oklahoma City specifically since January of 2020 through February of 2023. And since your current rate is low and what we can charge for rent is high, that's going to create some margin between what your current mortgage payment is and the new rent. Then we can take that margin and help you offset what the new payment would be while also helping you build wealth long term by having somebody else pay down your mortgage. I actually ran this exact scenario for one of our clients that we were talking to recently, and it kind of broke down like this. Their current mortgage interest rate was around a 2.99%, which is great. And that left their mortgage payment to be just shy of $1,800 a month. And then we called up a realtor friend of ours, and we kind of figured out what rent was going for in their neighborhood, and it was about $2,400 a month for the property that they had that we could charge in rent. Now, that's not the end of the story here that the equation isn't the $2,400 minus $1,800. We have $600 of cash flow. There's other things that you're going to have to be paying for if you decide to rent your property out. One could be like a property manager. Um, if things break, you're going to have to fix it. So you should probably leave a CapEx fund or something, a fund a set aside to help you plan for when uh, those expenses happen. So I'm not going to get into all that stuff in today's video, but just know that there are some other expenses. But either way, this client felt that that was enough margin for them to go through with the idea here. So when I brought this up to a couple of other people, there were two main concerns that they came up with that I do want to address. And one was, well, hey, now if I have two mortgage payments, isn't that going to make it harder for me to qualify to buy another house? And the answer is maybe not. There are some ways where we can actually use the rent that we're charging to offset your current mortgage payment. Now that depends on you and your financial profile, what kind of loan program we go with, all of that stuff. So for more information on that, just reach out to us at foxfinancial.pro. The second thing that I wanted to address is they needed the money or from like the equity that's in their current house out of it so they could actually afford a down payment for the next house. And for that, what I would suggest is using what's called a home equity line of credit, or as we call it, a HELOC. That will allow you to get access to the cash that's currently inside of your home. And you can even use that for a down payment on another house. But basically today, I just wanted to give potential home buyers some different tools and ideas that they can use to navigate the current real estate environment that we are in. But as always, let me know what you guys think, and I will catch you guys next time.